Hello, my name is Brian from the Stanley store. Uh, with me is Adam, and we're going to go through some meter rollers with you guys today. We're going to tear apart a non section control. But first, we'll kind of come through here and look at the different meter rollers that we're going to look at. We have a yellow roller, section control, and then orange roller, section control. And then we got a little demonstration here to give you an idea of the color of rollers or the low rate to high rate meter rollers that we work with. The stickers are faded right here, but in your book it will show you the rates that each color can work with. Here is an individual section, and this is what we'll look at when we tear apart a meter. So meter rollers should be tore apart and gone through seasonally, yearly, or just to make sure that everything is working correctly on them. Here, this is a ground drive meter roller. So we got our sprocket, got our handle with the flange nuts, and then we got a bolt right here through the hex shaft that we'll take apart. And then we'll start taking each individual section apart. You can see that they're numbered one, two, three, and then we will skip. They went to four, five, six, seven, eight, but de determined on the number of runs you're using, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see on the newer ones how we do paint marks. We'll mark a line across all the individual enclosures. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six primary. The centers are not getting used. They're plugged. And then we'll put a piece of duct tape over them. They need to stay in order because if you're reconfiguring or if you're tearing apart an existing roller, we do need the tuning rings to match up to the primary because that corresponds with the number of secondaries on each primary. Good practice just to label them to keep them in order. So now we'll tear this one apart. You don't need many tools. We have a 13 socket and a wrench to take our bolt out of here. 15 millimeter for the flange nuts on the handle. And then we'll use an M8 on the back here to help us with the rod that connects all the enclosures together. To a side. Take our bolt off here that's holding our sprocket on. Sometimes if these haven't been torn apart, this bolt will get stuck. This one's actually coming out for us pretty good, but you might need a punch and a hammer to help with that. Take our sprocket off. Then we got our end cap, washer. And this one you can see that once we start tearing apart here, you will see there's seed treat in it. So you can look 
Here is our enclosure. Here is our brush. And then here is a high rate seed plate. If you look over here, you can see we have the two seed plates. Here is a low rate, high rate. We'll use these in canola rollers and in the black roller. And then we'll put these in the other ones. And then we have a brush. You want to inspect your brush and expect the enclosure and then the rate wear plate. And then once we take this off, if your meters haven't been checked in a while or cleaned, this shaft can get corroded and these things are difficult to get off. So this one you can see the actual individual meter segment. And then we'll have a snap ring on here. end cap. You can see the bevel. Bushing. And then the actual meter itself. We can go through each one of these and check all the components in it. And then once you're done either replacing just the wear parts or if you're going through and it's a new one and you're putting tuning rings on, you will have to take these out, take this apart to get the tuning ring installed. You can see that they have these little dowel pins. They help you align it to interlock into the next one. And then we would just go through each one the same. This is non-section control ground drive meter roller. You can see this one has a little bit of wear on it. This one could get cleaned up, but actually the components don't look too bad. This one that did have the tuning ring, you can see the brush, how it does wear down in there. And then replacing this brush and then cleaning everything out. Helps save the life of your meter roller. Now we're at a section control roller. We're gonna take it apart basically the same, but we're gonna look at the individual enclosure here. We wanna take a look at the gate and then the rod and the gate detection sensor that is through here. So I'm going to take my handle off. Then I'll take our locking rod off. This is a 16 on the end. And then we still have our set screw. my end plate off. And then here you can see the handle actually holds that sensor rod on. We'll pull this sensor out. Here is your gate detection sensor. And then if I look at the individual section, Here, this one's new, so the high wear plate slides out really nice and easy. And the brush, and then right here is our section control. The valve body that's behind the meter housing is pushing this gate open and closed 
as we're doing section control. Right here, and then here's the gate. It might be hard to see through the camera, but if you look through here, you can actually see the actual sensor or the ring that is getting detected by the sensor right here on the edge. This is an orange roller, which is for large seeds, strictly for soybeans, not fertilizer. You only find this roller in a section control hydraulic drive cart. That's why we really strongly recommend numbering them, lining them up, and putting them back together in the same order you take them apart. And then when you're tightening these rods, you want one to two threads showing on the edge of this flange nut. You don't want to over tight it because over tightening it increases the wear on it and just the actual turning of the meters gets tough. The book says one to two threads past the flange nut. If it's something that you don't want to deal with as far as doing your meter cleans or rebuilding or reconfiguring, just check with the store and see if uh, we could schedule to get your meters looked at or rebuilt. And doing this every season will save the wear on your meter rollers. Thank you.